either. Don't you thank him? Don't you thank him? It's a celebration. It's a celebration. Are you going to help us celebrate? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We definitely thank God for our youth choir directed by our youth minister, Elder Bess. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is awesome, y'all. It's worth the celebrating. I know I like to celebrate my birthday, but you know what? You know what? God like his birthday celebrated too. And we're going to give him all glory, all honor, and all praise. Are you going to help me? Are you going to help me? Let's shout hallelujah. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Thank you, Lord. This celebration is all about, all about the birth that was prophesied by Isaiah. And it, and it said that unto us a child will be born, and unto us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called, I love this part, Wonderful! Wonderful! Wonderful. Wonderful. Counselor! Isaiah prophesied the very birth of Christ, but when Jesus was born, he was born in a lonely manger in Bethlehem. The star that represented where he laid showed high from the sky, from above. Everybody that went to see Jesus and heard about his birth did not like Jesus, but there were some that loved him. But there were those who seek to kill him and to destroy him because of what he was doing in the earth. He came from heaven as a human being. He was in heaven already, and he volunteered. And the Father said, Jesus, you go and join yourself in with those who look like us, human beings. And Jesus came down and said, okay, Father, I'll do it. So he came from the birth all the way from the cradle to the grave. So Jesus had celebrated with us. He knows us. He knows everything that we ever go through. So don't never thank you alone. He always said that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Amen. All right. We would like to say, first of all, God bless you and good morning, Apostle. To our, to our, hey, hey, that's, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. For our man of God, we would like to say good morning to Apostle Simmons and First Lady in her absence. We thank God for this man of God. We thank God for the voice of God being able to be heard in this house. Let's give him a round of applause, y'all. I thank God for him. Hallelujah. We also would like to say good morning to all of our brothers and sisters that have joined us, all of our friends, and we definitely welcome you to this celebration. This is a party, y'all. This is a party. We would like to say welcome to our church. You are welcome to worship. You are welcome to praise. You are welcome to give God glory. You are welcome to lift your hands. You are welcome to cry. You are welcome to shout. You are welcome. Whether you're from New York, anywhere across this great country called the United States, whether you're watching us by streaming live, we welcome you to our church. Here we go. At our church, Jesus is Lord. That single belief calls us together as a community and sends us into our world with hope and purpose. At our church, your past will never define your future. There's always redemption, which means there's always a brighter day. 
At our church, we don't think we're better than any other church out there. We're just doing our best to become our best. At our church, we want you to believe in God, but we also want you to know that God believes in you. We are not against people who don't attend church anywhere. Instead, we pursue them with love, the very same love that's pursuing us. At our church, we're learning to serve God with all our hearts and we're learning to worship Him with all our lives. And if you're looking for the perfect church, we're not it. At our church, we will make mistakes, but we will choose to grow from them. At our church, we're part of a global community that's knit together by the resurrection of Jesus. And by the way, at our church, we believe that really happened too. At our church, we will engage with people who are in real need because we are the hands and the feet of Christ. And finally, we need you to hear this loud and clear. At our church, it's not really our church at all. It's His. And we live and move and breathe in His church for His glory and His fame, not ours. So here's the invitation. You're invited to jump in with your whole heart at your own pace and to experience the life that awaits you in Christ. Friends, this is going to be good. Welcome to our church.
Let's take a look at some of the upcoming events at Deeper Life Church Ministries. There will be no evening Bible study on Tuesday, December 24th, and the administrative office will be closed on Wednesday, December 25th. Apostle and First Lady Simmons would like to wish everyone a very safe and blessed Merry Christmas. On next Sunday, December 29th at 9 a.m., we will have singles classes to be taught by our very own Apostle Simmons. Apostle will be pouring into all singles in the singles classroom. Whether you are divorced, widowed, or never married, God's word is clear on how we should live as single adults. You need the support and friendship of other Christians to help you stay the course. Come out and learn how to live a life pleasing to Christ. Real Life Young Adults Ministry will be held on tomorrow at 7 o'clock p.m. This gathering will be held off campus, so those who have joined the Real Life Text Club, please be mindful of your text. And if you are not a part of the text club and wish to attend, for more information, please contact Brother Mac Murray Jr. at reallifeyam at gmail.com. That is reallifeyam at gmail.com. Or call 919-921-5004. You may also find us on Facebook and Twitter. On tomorrow, we will be finalizing our series for the month, Relationship That Defies Religion. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 7 o'clock p.m. Please remember, Real Life is also open to non-members and anyone who fits the age requirements of a junior in high school through 30 years of age. Apostle and First Lady Simmons, the Mass Choir and Congregation will be in fellowship with Bishop Chester Acock and the Goldsboro Raleigh District Assembly in Goldsboro on Friday, December 27th at 7 o'clock p.m. Directions are at the Welcome Center. Due to this engagement being in the city, the buses will not travel. So please make plans now to travel and support this service. Apostle Simmons and Minister of Music Tony Williams want the same mass choir that traveled to Kinston to sing with us. Thank you in advance. The Daryl Borns Karate Academy would like to congratulate first place winners of the Goldsboro TC Chins Fight Club Tournament. David Dickens in sparring of the white and yellow belts for ages 13 to 15. And Chris McCardell also sparring in the green and purple belts for ages 16 through 19. Congratulations to you both. Words do not adequately express my gratitude to all of you for how you have blessed me for my birthday. Thank you for the gifts, cards, and other expressions of birthday wishes. You have helped make this birthday one of the best. And thank you so much for your prayers as I recover from my afflictions. I know the God that delivers me out of them all, and he is doing exactly what his word said he would do. Know that I love you, and I pray for you also as we are in this thing together. God bless you all. First Lady Simmons. We are pleased to announce the release of Apostle Norman Simmons and the Gospel Heirs' brand new CD entitled Get a Grip on God. You gonna get yours and I'll get mine because so, so many people fall in by the way. Fall in by the way, sad Lord, help me to stay. Give me the strength, Lord. The CD is now available for purchase for only $10. We are accepting cash or debit cards only. Sorry, no checks. Please stop by the bookstore and buy one today. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your support. Your support is invaluable and greatly appreciated. For more information on these or any other announcements, 
please visit us on the World Wide Web at www.dlcm.org or call our administrative office at 919-736-8232.
thank the choir for those two inspirational songs. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. It is true that Jesus was born. However, he died. He hung on the cross. He took every sin known to man into his body. A man that knew no sin took sin on for us, for you and I, that we might have a right to the tree of life. He hung on an old rugged cross, they call it, old tree of death, of sinfulness and shame. But he died so that we might have that right to come back to the Father through Jesus the Christ. And I want you to know as he hung